would you like to become a scientist would you like to work in the nasa like institutes to launch the different satellites or would you like to find out the vaccines for different diseases then this is the right video to watch in this video i am explaining about national scholarship exam it called as kishore vaigyanik protsahan yojana this exam is started by department of science and technology in the year of 1999 once you crack this exam you are going to get an opportunity to become a famous next scientist of our country if you crack this exam then you are going to get an opportunity to study in most reputed institutes like ias iit iser like institutes i think you have heard about indian institute of science bangalore this is one of the most famous institute of our country it comes in the 100 rank of world famous institutes so you are going to get an opportunity to continue your further studies in such reputed institutes and universities already applications are invited so please visit to kvpy exam official website i already provided the link in the description even you can follow that link till dates are there up to the 30th october is the last date of application then let us discuss the benefits of this exam the most important benefit is you can seek your admission in ias and iser like institutes not only that even you can seek the admission in different famous universities of our country once you get the get the admission into that institutes or universities you are going to receive monthly fellowship that's really great students because you can complete your further all education without depending on your parents and this exam will it is given this exam is giving an opportunity to secured your seat during your 11th standard only and even you may secure your place during the 12th standard or even after the 12th standard also what amount of fellowship you are going to receive then during the first 3 years you are going to receive 5000 rupees as a fellowship per month and 20000 rupees as a contingency to carry out your project works and during the last 2 years means during your post graduation you are going to receive 7000 rupees as a scholarship and 28000 rupees as a contingency to carry out your different project works whether these are only the two benefits of this exam no in addition to that you are going to get an opportunity to participate in a national science camp which is every year conducting by IAS Bangalore in a different part of our country where the Nobel laureates are invited famous scientists are invited you are going to have an opportunity to meet with the famous scientist of our country as well as the world famous scientist in addition to that one more most important benefit of this exam you are going to receive identity card as a kvpy fellow by having this identity card you can access libraries and laboratories of different universities and institutes of our country see students usually you are not going to have an opportunity to enter into the laboratories and libraries of famous universities but once you become an kbp or fellow you can access you can utilize the premises of 
different universities library that's really great thing students and in addition to this all once you become an kvfa fellow it will add the value into your curriculum vt where you can boldly say that i am an kvpa fellow kvpa exam is conducted in three different streams sa sx and sb students those who are learning in 11th standard science they are eligible to attend the sa stream and students those who are pursuing 12th standard science they are eligible to attend sx and students those who already completed their pre university education and taken admission for first years bachelor's degree they are all eligible to attend yes b stream then let us discuss what is the exam pattern for all these three different streams for sa stream first we will discuss in a sa stream total there are the two papers are there paper 1 and paper 2 maximum marks for this exam is 100 marks questions are used to comes from all the four subject physics chemistry math biology in paper 1 as well as in paper 2 in paper 1 15 questions are used to ask from every subject physics 15 chemistry 15 math 15 and biology 15 all together 60 questions are there and one question carries one marks to total 60 marks paper paper 2 now again the questions are used to comes from all the four subject physics 5 chemistry 5 math 5 and biology five questions total questions are 20 here but the marks are 40 because each question carries two marks in paper 2 all together 60 plus 40 100 marks paper it is one more important thing is students once you made any mistake in the paper 1 then you are going to lose 0.25 marks if you made any mistake in a paper 2 then you are going to lose 0.5 marks for there is negative marking in this exam now let us discuss about exam pattern for yes x and x sb for sx and sb same exam pattern is there in which again there are the paper 1 and paper 2 are there paper 1 carries a 60 marks paper 2 carries the 40 marks in paper 1 again questions will be from physics chemistry math biology in paper 2 again the questions will be physics chemistry math biology but here students are have a choice to choose any three subject in paper 1 they need to answer the questions from any three subject say for example if you are the je aspirant leave biology if you are the neat aspirant then leave maths you can choose any three subject in which you are you can able to perform better and in paper 2 you need to choose any two subject either you may choose physics chemistry or chemistry math or math biology or chemistry biology like that any two subject you need to choose what number of questions are there from the in paper 1 in paper 1 each subject carries 20 questions 20 marks so total you are answering three subject so 20 plus 20 plus 20 60 questions are there carries 60 marks 
in paper 2 you need to answer for any two subject each subject carries 10 questions 20 marks two subject 20 questions are there 40 marks again if you made if you answered correctly you are going to get the two marks for each question if you made any mistake with any question minus 0 0.50 marks will be there say some students are used to ask that sir whether if if we answered all the subject questions then what will happen nothing students they will say that in what subject you are performed better they will consider the best two in paper two and in paper one they will consider best three out of four in that way they will consider and finally they will evaluate for 100 marks that is what the exam pattern for SX and SB stream so that is uh, those who are uh, taking an KVPY exam in yes x and sb stream they are lucky enough they can leave the subject of which they are not much more interested now let us see what is the cutoff mark for every stream last year 2019 cutoff mark for yes yes stream for general merit 53 marks yes est 42 marks and PWD also 42 then for yes extreme 55 marks for general merit 45 for yes EST and even 45 for PWD then for yes extreme for general merit 55 SEST 45 and PWD 45 then for S extreme general merit 50 SEST 40 and PWD 40 by looking at this cutoff marks as you know that usually there will be the more cutoff mark for yes x stream where the heavy computation is there then based on the cutoff marks they are going to prepare the merit list if you are in the merit list then you are supposed to attend interview it is held in a different part of our country fortunately this year 2020 there is no interview only for this year from next year again the interview is there in an interview panel all subject experts are there where they are going to ask the questions from different subject you need to answer them I strongly suggest you please don't try to fool the experts because they know whether you know the answer or not as they are the subject experts if you don't know any answer then frankly say that sir I don't know then you may go for the next question based on your interview performance and based on your aptitude test performance they are going to prepare the rank list where they are considering 75% from your aptitude test and 25% from your interview performance and they will prepare the final list if you are the lucky enough then you are going to become an KVPY fellow yes this is all about the KVPY exam I hope so you are all understood about KVPY Thank you for watching this video till to the end. Please share and subscribe our channel.